Hello everyone watching this video. My name is RJ Skills and this is a Pokemon Showdown video, my very first one. This is a team, a UU team, based on the Twitch Plays Pokemon team. And it's a pretty epic team. Here is a preview. This is the Fonts, Nido King, with leftovers, um, pretty high attack and HP investment. And uh, I like that one a lot. Then we have the Angel of Justice, specially defensive Zapdos with quite a good, quite a few good offensive moves, and Toxic, which is also very important. And we have Lord Helix, the Omastar, with a, he has Shell Smash and a Focus Sash. A lot of really good offense. That comes into play later, and Max Speed. We have Bird Jesus, the Pidgeot, with full attack investment, decent speed investment, and pretty good HP investment to be able to take a few more hits than it normally can. We have Air Jordan, the Lapras, Assault Vest. He can really take those special hits. Full special attack and special defense investment. We have ATV, the All-Terrain Venomoth, with full speed and special attack investment. And an Expert Belt, so those super effective hits can be buffed up a little bit. This is a replay of the battle. Excuse me for that right there. <clears throat> My Pokemon are on the far side of the screen. And as you can see, I lead with Zapdos. That's kind of my designated lead. It's always good in pretty much any situation. This is Jirachi U turns out. Shaman. I predict that. And go into the Heat Wave. And that does some pretty good damage right there. Get the leftovers recovery. And he's probably thinking, holy crap, I was not expecting the Heat Wave. He was expecting a Thunderbolt or something like that. So he goes out of the Vaporeon. I just want a Toxic something. So I drop the Toxic on the Vaporeon. He's going to be taking some damage now. That bulky Vaporeon is kind of neutered as of right now. He gets scared out. He goes into his own Zapdos while I've tried to get some damage on the Vaporeon with Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt does some okay damage. Look at those Zapdos wings flapping through the air. God, these 3D sprites, they look amazing. <sighs> okay, then I go out in the fawns because I don't want to take any electric hits. He switches, hard switches out too, into his Victini. And I'm thinking, maybe, just maybe, I can survive. I survive the Zen Pit, but he gets poison with Poison Point, which is a great ability. But he gets the flinch. So, no Earthquake kill on the Victini. I probably could kill. I max attack Adamant, I believe. But he gets the flinch and he U-turns out, which is okay because now I have momentum. I can answer his switch now, whatever he wants to switch into. <clears throat> and uh, our opponent here switches back into the Vaporeon. I'm thinking, okay, what am I going to do here? He's, he's, he's toxic. What should I do? And I'm thinking, Zapto's pretty much the only real good answer I have to that at the moment. He stays in and takes that Thunderbolt pretty nicely. And he heal bells, so no more poison for the Vaporeon or the Victini. And I'm thinking, well, what should I do? I don't know. He's probably going to go out. I'm just going to Thunderbolt again. <clears throat> and so I do Thunderbolt. It does some pretty decent damage on the Jirachi. And I'm thinking, well, maybe I could Heat Wave again. Heat Wave whatever wants to come in. Or maybe just Thunderbolt again, predicting something else. He turns out. He brings in the Axorus. Why this thing is UU, I don't know. So, I Heat Wave and uh, does 20% damage on that Heat Wave, thinking Jirachi would stay in. I Toxic it. He has Lumberry. I'm thinking, oh no, this is the end for me. He Dragon Dances. But this is the crucial point of the battle right here. Instead of taking me out outright, which is probably one of, one of the battle, he wants to set up in my face another Dragon Dance. And I say, you know what? I'll just Toxic you again. And I'm thinking, I have five pokes. I can probably stall you out if I'm lucky. So I switch out, trying to fodder off the Venomoth. I'm thinking, Venomoth the Dragon Slayer, he can take it. He poison jabs. I don't know what he was expecting, why he didn't go for a dragon move. That would have hit my whole team. But Venomoth takes the poison jab. Look at that. And so he's just racking up toxic. That was crucial right there, that he poison jab. And so kills me with the dragon claw. 
for thinking I may have a chance. I doubt Bird Jesus will be faster, but no, he's just going to fodder off. He dragon claws, fodder that off. Bird Jesus, he fainted for your sins. He will not be in vain. So he's getting toxic one more time. In the next turn, he will die to toxic damage. So I bring out Air Jordan, and then I double switch out into Zapdos. This is extremely important because he sees that, and he says, Earthquake. Take that earthquake. It is not going to happen, my friend. He dies to toxic damage. Get rid of the Haxorus. I had to sacrifice two Pokemon, but I got rid of that Haxorus. So I'm thinking, what should I do now? Maybe I'm faster. No, I'm not. With full speed investment. He's he's not Scarf, but he's still faster. He V-creates. Takes me out one hit. But this is the crucial part. Here comes the Omastar. Lord Helix. In for the battle. And this is why I, I saw this set earlier and I got beat by it. And so I have the Focus Sash. I Shell Smash on the predicted switch, which I knew he was going to switch initiated. So I Shell Smash. Now I get one. And that was very important right there that he V created, because that basically won the game for me. Shell Smash again. So I'm times three. And the defense drops don't matter at all. Because I have Focus Ash, I hang on with one hit, and then I just go to work on his team. Ice Beam that Shaman. He's dead. Not going to take that hit. I'm fully invested in Special Attack and Speed, so I'm, gonna, I'm going to outspeed no matter what. Jirachi? Not a problem. Earth Power? Kill it in one hit. <sighs> this is just, it's, it was such a beautiful moment. I was so happy that this was turning out. Zapdos, okay, you're going to eat an Ice Beam. You are going to eat that Ice Beam, and you are not going to like it. I don't know if he was specially defensive or not, but still, times three special attack, so not going to appreciate it. Big Teeny, and times three speed, you're not going to outspeed this one. There comes the Surf, there goes the Big Teeny. And last but not least, he still has that Vaporeon. This was the big moment. I didn't know if Earth Power was going to kill because of how bulky it is, but it does. Lord Helix, with the sweep, taking it home. And that was one of the most beautiful moments I have ever seen. And that's the video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I will be getting a better microphone soon, so audio quality will improve. And I will start doing these battles live in the very near future. So like, favorite, subscribe. Thank you very much.